How's it going, guys? We have a past little question for Pathology Step 1, Pediatrics 2CK. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give me a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, L1 underscore medical, and me, HLMA underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to Telegram group and channel down below. And us with Cliff. Three old boy. He's brought into the physician by his parents after an unusual episode in which he was observed making writhing movements in his sleep. Physical exam shows peach colored and slightly reddish papules on his cheeks, nasal bridge, and within the nasal labial folds. Cardiac examination shows a diastolic murmur. Cardiac MRI is shown, which the following most likely we see in this patient. So I'll talk about this vignette as we move through the question. Okay, clearly we have this MRI here, which we label it with right ventricular mass of some sort. Okay, so let's just whip the answer choice here. Choice A, cafe LA spots, wrong fucking answer. We refer to neurofibromatosis type 1, NF1, chromosome 17, autosomal dominant. Classically, it's going to be uh, axillary slash groin freckling. All right, cafe lay spots are hyper pigmented macules. You can also get neurofibromas. Those are just uh, nodules under the skin. You can also get uh, leash nodules, which are iris hamartomas. You get pheochromocytoma. So optic glioma, that's important for NF1. Okay, they need eye exams. So NF1 is one of the phacomatoses. Okay, so the neurocutaneous disorders, NF1, NF2, bonnet Belindau, tuberous sclerosis. Sturge Weber or pronounced Sturge Weber. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, cerebellar hemangioblastoma. Wrong fucking answer. I would refer to Bonnet Bolindo. Okay, so the HL, chromosome 3, autosomal dominant. That's going to be cerebellar retinal hemangioblastomas. They can say renal cell carcinoma. It need not be bilateral. And you can get pancreatic cysts. Okay. I'd say the detail about pancreatic cysts is underrated. I've seen that show up in a question, but students haven't heard of that typically. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, clear cell carcinoma. Wrong fucking answer. This refers to renal cell carcinoma. So this would also be von Hippel Lindau. So a high yield point for US Simile is that you are aware that the most common variant of renal cell carcinoma is called clear cell carcinoma, and they like showing the histology for that as well. Just, you guessed it, large clear cells. Okay, so Bonnet Belinda, once again, it's renal cell carcinoma, clear cell carcinoma, cerebellar uh, retinal hemangioblastomas, pancreatic cysts. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, hypopigmented lesions, correct answer refers to ash leaf spots, can also get hyperpigmented velvety lesions called shea green patches, diagnosis, tuberous sclerosis, okay? So tuberous sclerosis, one of the phacomatoses I just mentioned. We've got the writhing movements in sleep, that's gonna be seizure, okay? You assembly can describe it that way. Uh, you can get these tubers, homerton tuber and abnormal protein development within the brain, okay? See on MRI, they can be described as periventricular nodules on MRI. Uh, or CT of the head, either or. Um, we've got adenoma sebation, angiofibromas, these peach or slightly reddish uh, papules on the nasal bridge within the nasal labial folds on the cheeks. We can get cardiac rhabdomyoma, okay, very important. And we can get renal angiomyolipoma, okay, that's also very important. So, and uh, subungual fibromas, which are nail bed fibromas, and you get pulmonary uh, lymphangioleomyomatosis. Let's just whip to the, uh, the final answer choice here. So, schwannoma, wrong fucking answer. First, to neurofibromatosis type 2. So, chromosome 22, autosomal dominant. And so, bilateral acoustic schwannoma, okay, and uh, can also get meningioma. Uh, can get bilateral cataracts. I haven't seen you assembly give a fuck. They just care about uh, schwannoma, okay? And the way they can assess that for you assembly is uh, they'll give you a Sturge. Sturge, the fuck am I saying? I was talking about Sturge Weber before. But I'm talking about the, the Weber, the Weber test for um, conduction versus neurosensory hearing loss, as well as the Rene or the Rhine test. So they can give you, I don't want to go into that too heavy right now, but they can give you a combination of uh, Rene and Weber tests where you have neurosensory hearing loss on one side, and they'll tell you that the patient had a schwannoma uh, removed five years ago in the contralateral ear, and then you can just say, well, that's NF2 as the answer. In this case, wrong fucking answer. You know the deal, I'm going to make more content. I feel like my stuff, subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.